Imagine a single tree quietly powering an entire home, lights, phones, even a fan, without the grid. It sounds like sci-fi, but right now, African innovators are making it real. This isn't about burning wood or expensive solar panels, it's about harnessing the living energy of the tree itself. Today, we'll explore the science behind bioelectric and triboelectric trees, a breakthrough that could solve energy poverty for millions. Forget what you know about renewable energy. This connects ancient nature with futuristic tech. I'm Dr. Cool, and we're about to see how African ingenuity is lighting up a continent and inspiring the world. This is the story of tree power. For centuries, trees gave us shade, oxygen, and wood. But burning wood comes at a huge cost, deforestation, climate change, and health risks. What if we could get power from a living tree without cutting it down? That's the question that sparked a revolution. Imagine a tree as a living power plant making forests more valuable alive than dead. In Africa, millions live off-grid, limiting education, business, and healthcare. Extending power grids is slow and costly. Solar panels help but have limits. The ideal solution? Something organic, grown, and in harmony with nature. African innovators asked, what can nature give us willingly? Inside every tree, water moves, nutrients flow, and chemical reactions create a quiet storm of energy. The challenge? Tap into this power without harm. By blending ancient knowledge with new science, they decoded the secret language of trees. The dream plant a tree, grow a power source. Reforestation and electrification, hand in hand. This isn't just about lights. It's about a future where progress and the planet thrive together. Sometimes, the most powerful solutions have been quietly growing all along. How do you get electricity from a living tree? It starts with photosynthesis. Plants create food and, as a byproduct, release protons, creating a tiny voltage between tree and soil. For years, this was just a curiosity, until innovators in Nigeria and Kenya saw potential. They developed a bioelectric module, Media Group. Scientist in a lab coat inserting a copper electrode into tree trunk. Another scientist burying a zinc plate in the soil at at stock at at distribute underscore equally. Copper electrode in the trunk, zinc in the soil. The tree and soil act as a natural battery. By connecting multiple modules in series in parallel, they amplified the voltage and current. Careful experiments revealed the best configurations for different trees and soils. The result? Media Group. Time-lapse of a small hut being lit up at night by tree power. LED bulbs glowing inside a rural hut with visible wires leading to a tree at its stock at a distribute underscore equally. A single acacia tree could power LED bulbs and charge phones day and night. Unlike solar or wind, this works 24 7 as long as the tree lives. The system is sustainable. Common materials, minimal harm, no emissions, and the tree keeps thriving. The Breakthrough Media Group Wide shot of multiple trees wired for bioelectricity in a rural landscape. Animated blueprint overlay of the bioelectric system on a tree at its stock at its distribute underscore equally. A practical, scalable blueprint for generating electricity from living plants. This wasn't just a lab trick. It was a new way to power the world. The world took notice, and the door opened to even more powerful discoveries. The bioelectric module was a leap forward, but innovators wanted more power. They turned to the triboelectric effect, the static electricity from leaves brushing in the wind. Each leaf-to-leaf -leaf contact creates a tiny charge. Multiply that by millions of leaves and you have a hidden energy source. The solution triboelectric nanogenerators, TANGs, ultra-thin biodegradable films placed on leaves and branches. As wind moves the leaves, the films generate and capture electricity, channeling it to a central capacitor. On a windy day, a single tree with tangs could generate up to 100 times more power than bioelectric modules alone. Now, the tree is a living wind turbine, silent, beautiful, and fully integrated with nature. This was the second, even more powerful piece of the tree power puzzle. The combination of bioelectric and triboelectric systems unlocked a new era of clean, organic energy. Trees became not just symbols of life, but engines of progress. The technology was ready to scale. The forest itself could become a power plant. The process consists of the capteur at the interior. So I'm going to balance it with this connector. 
Ici, la sortie, le courant ne peut pas électrifier, c'est le courant parce que le courant de la batterie ou bien de, de la pile électrique. Mais quand on va le relier au transport, l'oscillateur va permettre de basculer en courant AC. Je suis un homme qui a été en train de se The real magic happens when you combine both systems. The bioelectric module provides a steady baseline, enough for lights and phones, day or night. When the wind blows, the triboelectric system surges, powering bigger appliances like pumps or refrigerators. The system adapts to the weather, gentle current on calm nights, powerful bursts on windy days. Imagine a grove of trees connected to a microgrid, enough to run a school or clinic, scale up, and entire forests become living power plants, the electric forest. Reforestation becomes electrification. Planting trees fights climate change and energy poverty at once. The cost? Low. Once installed, the fuel is free and maintenance is minimal. No moving parts, no panels to clean, just trees growing stronger and more productive over time. This model is perfect for developing economies, resilient, scalable, and sustainable. Tree power isn't just a trick, it's a symphony of natural processes, harnessed with simple, elegant tech. The steady heartbeat of bioelectricity, the powerful breath of tribal electricity. Together, a living, adaptive power source. This could reshape our world. The electric forest is more than a vision. It's a blueprint for the future, nature and technology working as one. The revolution is growing one tree at a time, and the world is watching. Why does this matter? Over 600 million people in Sub-Saharan Africa live without electricity, a barrier to education, health, and opportunity. Without power, clinics can't refrigerate vaccines, surgeries happen by flashlight, and children study by toxic kerosene lamps. Tree power changes that. A grove of trees can keep a clinic running, light up homes, and empower small businesses. It's not just about comfort, it's about saving lives and unlocking potential. Tree power also flips the script on environmental justice. Instead of choosing between growth and nature, communities can prosper by planting and protecting forests. The healthier the forest, the more power it generates, linking prosperity to environmental stewardship. This is decentralized, democratic energy, putting power in the hands of the people, not distant utilities. Communities grow their own energy independence, building resilience against climate and economic shocks. Most importantly, this is a solution born from local ingenuity, not imposed from outside. It leverages local resources, respects nature, and empowers people. It's a story of hope, proving that elegant, sustainable solutions can come from anywhere. The electric forest is a model for the world. It's about more than electricity. It's about dignity, opportunity, and a future where people and planet thrive together. This is why tree power matters. It's a revolution rooted in the soil, growing brighter every day. The world is taking notice, and the story is just beginning. This isn't about corporations or governments, it's about people. African scientists, engineers, and entrepreneurs are leading the charge, solving problems with resources right under their feet. Meet Dr. Amina Okoro in Lagos, who developed biodegradable triboelectric films, efficient, green, and safe for the soil. Joseph Kamau, a self-taught engineer in Kenya, perfected the bioelectric modules, making them simple and rugged for everyday use. These innovators worked with limited funding and unreliable power, but their belief never wavered. 
they built a pan-African network, sharing knowledge and creating green jobs. University students across the continent are starting tree power clubs, running experiments, and training local technicians. Business models now link electrification to reforestation. Families care for saplings in exchange for power. This isn't charity, it's leadership. African innovators are creating solutions for African challenges and inspiring the world. They're building a new narrative, innovation, self-reliance, and hope. As Joseph Kamau says, we always knew trees were powerful. We just had to listen in a new way. This movement is about respect for nature and brilliant science. It's changing lives and the world. The future is being built from the ground up and it's growing fast. How can you help? Start by spreading the word, share this video, talk about it, and make these innovators' stories go viral. Awareness brings investment and support, helping tree power scale up, challenge outdated narratives about Africa, celebrate ingenuity, and amplify these voices. If you can, support organizations on the ground, fund a power tree, train a technician, or help plant saplings. For students and dreamers, be inspired. World-changing ideas can come from anywhere. Ask what resources in your community are overlooked. What natural processes could be harnessed for good? Advocate for policy change. Urge leaders to support local, sustainable innovation. This isn't just tech, it's a movement, a new way of thinking about our relationship with the planet. Every conversation plants a seed of possibility. The electric forest is a vision for all humanity. Let's be the wind that powers this revolution. Show the world we stand with these innovators. Help grow the forest of light until it inspires the world to see trees as partners in a brighter, greener future. The future is in our hands. Let's make it grow. Together, we are part of the forest. What we've seen is more than science. It's hope. A single tree powering a home is a symbol of a new era, sustainable, equitable, and community-driven. This is about collaborating with nature, not conquering it. The electric forest is a vision where planting a tree is an act of optimism for people and planet. Share this video, subscribe for more stories of African ingenuity, and remember, the future isn't built, it's grown. Thanks for watching.